Cancer. Hi, it's Robin. Getting ready to do your June reading right now. And let's look at the love energies for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in June. I'm getting ready to start with my bell for sacred clearing of your space. And also I use this anointing oil that I created, which is wonderful. Unisex Spiritual Anointing Protection Oil. This is a sacred holy mist. You can buy this on my website or you can email me to order some, okay? It'll all be in the box below, but Cancer, let me do this. Anoint your reading and know it myself. Thank you. All right, thank you. Calling in all divine energies, love and light for my Cancers, bringing about the proper message that they need to hear of the energies that, that um, seem to be coming up. Now, these are timeless, so they could apply to now. They could apply from a perspective of someone watching. It's hard to say, but let's take a look and see. Now, I'm going to do a unique reading for you this time, and this might be my regular format because I just love this. These are the Lenormand cards, and they're very bright and colorful, and most people can relate to the picture on them. It means something to you when your eyes set on it, whatever it is. And each one of you are going to receive that message differently, okay? But let's do this. I'm doing a Celtic cross with Lenormand. Then I will, I will double check with the Tarot on each one. The meaning, the energies, the outcome. We're looking at love. We're looking at moods. We're looking at higher guidance. And let's see where we go, Cancer. Here we go. Cancer Summon, Rising in Venus. Here we go. You're showing up as the moon in reverse. The moon in reverse is somebody who's learned some pretty damn hard lessons. Sorry. You've learned some pretty hard things. You have come out of a delusional state. You are clear as a bell. That's what I'm getting. What's crossing you? Uh, you feel like you're running out of time now that you know so much. You just kind of get the sense that time is not on your side. I'll clarify these. You have dealt with uh, indecisiveness, not taking any chances in the past, far past, but you, you recently learned to stop that behavior and pattern, especially if it was a, a connection to, a, like an addiction to a unhealthy relationship. It looks like you just kind of, that's it. I'm not going to do that anymore. Your higher mind is that of trying to figure out how to free your mind of this. How to free your mind of this and how to send and fly past it. That's on your higher mind. Now, it looks like this is going to happen to you. You might find yourself um, constantly in search of something which is centered and rewarding and whole and peaceful. And you might be in the search for that. You might be going through the labyrinth, which is like starting all over again um, and getting restructured your life and whatever it is. You're being seen as the mountain, having trials and tribulations at the moment, not really um, knowing how to get over the mountain, um, but very familiar with the feeling of the struggle, right? Your, your environment shows up as... You, this book is not quite closed yet. The cage is not open. The book is not quite closed. There's something you still need to learn. And your concern is that this will come back to you and haunt you. Something will come back and haunt you. It could be that person. Your outcome is you're going to win. Your biggest problem is yourself. Mm -hmm. Having confidence, though. Confidence is sexy. Okay? You have the most amazing experience. The this is a chance for you to step up to that plate and stay on the damn plate. And you know why? Because you are the outcome. You are the blessing. Your dignity is everything, Cancer. It's everything. It's charming. It's beautiful. It's lovely. It's a reward to just die for a divine feminine energy. She knows how to give and receive, but she knows how to let go like it. Whatever. I can't fix it. I'm still working on figuring out how to do that, though. So share with me why our Cancers are showing up as Moon in Reverse. Why are they showing up as the Moon in Reverse, Spirit? Show me. Okay. 
got it. I got it. Yes, indeed, you have. A, yes, you have learned something really hard. And you're keeping a lot to yourself right now. You're not verbalizing everything at the moment because you're still in shock from something. Or you would not have had to pull out the whip and then learn how to put it away. Tell me about this. Clarify this. Um, high Priestess here. Page of Cups. You are trying to trust your intuition, whether you should or should not make peace with someone. But let's see what the um, the time thing is. This is like um, you're watching the clock. You know something's got to end. It's time to end something. Seven and three is ten. So you know it's time to end something, but you may have trouble finishing this off and making this, settling this somehow. Tell me about the time, please, for cancer. Two of them came out. You're tired of the burden, and you want to move on. And it's about time. You're very tired. You want to put this burden down. It's time you did, and you know this deep in your soul. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. This is peace of mind. This is quietly going off by yourself and doing your thing. And doing it like when everything's dead silent. You don't have to tell everybody, but boy, have you got some knowledge and insight. Yeah, indeed. Clarify that one more, please. Yeah, you're putting down the burdens. You're done. Nine of Wands in reverse. You're done. I'm out. Tell me about the whip a little bit. What's going on with them? Okay. That was about uh, controlling your temper, controlling your passions, and rediscovering your love recently. And it looks like self-love or maybe a brand new love. Clarify that. Yeah, no, not really. Okay, so what's happening is you're withholding from others. And you're keeping it to yourself, and you should, because that's exactly how you ascend. Now, why don't why doesn't Cancer feel like they're ascending in their mind? Why don't they feel like their heart? They can expose their heart at this time, or even what's on their mind. It's, it's like I'm a total failure at this moment. Is how I feel, but I don't see that because you don't even get past all this trauma, and deceit, and shock, and come out like this. It just doesn't happen. This is dignity from the inside out. Okay. Yes, Queen of Cups. So you really are, uh, you are really, I'm going to turn this around for you as a Reiki master. I'm taking authority over that reading. Here's what I see, my darlings. You need to know that you know that you know that you fucking know you are the queen. Fishizzle. You are this woman. Of dignity, empathy, kindness, wisdom, patience, serenity, uh, kind. I, I, oh shit! I mean, she's everything. She's a comforter. She's comfortable. She's kind. Remember who you are, Cancer. Remember who you are. Okay. Let's talk about the labyrinth here for Cancer, and coming up, something coming up. I don't know if it's a job search or if someone takes you on a wild goose chase. It could be, because look at the fox looking back at him. Look at this dude. He's looking back at it going, Ha, huh, maybe I can make her chase me. You're like, F, no, I'm not chasing you. you got to come, you got to bring it right or don't come at all. Tell me about the labyrinth for cancers, please. The labyrinth is about the four of pentacles. Someone's holding back energy and you can't seem to reach them. Whoever that is, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Tell me about the mountain, please. So we have the magician in reverse not feeling like. The mountain is about the death, Cancer. I mean, Scorpio energy. It's about the burden of crossing this, this path of this Scorpio person, possibly, who was doing bad juju. They were doing bad juju in one way or another, with their words, their actions, their behavior, or tr mistreating you. The magician in reverse is someone who does... Um, who do, they, they tear things down instead of build them up, okay? You're actually being seen as that. People are seeing you go through this death sentence and getting over it. They see that you're getting over it, but you're still not feeling really good, qualified or good to manifest at this time because 
this holding back energy and trying to rebuild and save money for your future. Um, and you're now feeling much like manifesting, creating something new. Let me see. Tell me about the magician, please. Cancer, someone rising in Venus. He turned. Dude, don't even. He's coming up as not feeling like a new start with anybody else right now until you have, there's something going on. Tell me why the Ace of Wands is in reverse. Chariot movement, moving away. So you are moving away. Yeah, but you're not actually feeling like uh, there you are right there crossing that mountain in your chariot. It's all intuitive. It's spiritual. And you must love yourself with high respect. Here we go. The, the book is about getting a victory over your experience and finally writing down your memoirs, finally turning this around and changing your environment. This is you getting a victory over passion and deceit and, and corruption of some kind. Tell me about the fox for cancer, please. Okay, the fox was keeping you from building. The fox is your worry. This is your concern. Your concern is that you may not be able to rebuild again and make something solid and productive. Seven of Pentacles. Clarify this Seven of Pentacles in reverse. It might be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn you were dealing with too that's giving you grief. Here we go. Get you all up in your head like, I, I can't trust your energy. All right, let's see. Page of Pentacles. So this one here is kind of keeping an eye, right? He's keeping an eye on you do here and probably keeping you there where you are holding back from them. They want to make an offer to you, but it's just a page of pentacles. Now, in most circumstances, if you weren't uh, being so oppressed by some energies, you would. this would be a love offer that you would accept probably. However, in this case, I don't see that you accept it. But they're going to make the offer anyway. So, let's take a look at our Divine Feminine. What do you want to say about her? She's making a decision. She's the Empress. Indeed. Look it. You are this energy. Dudes, you got it. The Empress is, I am co-creatrix co with the universe. I, I embody all of the queens. I am powerful. I reign over the kingdom with my emperor. However, he doesn't seem to be present at the time, so I'm trying to decide what I need to do and where I need to go with my energy and my ambitions and my love and my force field. Mm -hmm. All right. Romance angels, what would you like to say to Cancer, please? Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, darlings. How do we go? One more. Okay, they're shuffled today. Cancer, someone rising in Venus. What's the love message for them, please? Slippery cards. I like it, though. I like my small cards. They're easy to handle. Deception. See? Deception has come to you. Someone wearing a false flag in your relationship. So keep your eyes peeled, okay? You're also saying uh, it's safe for you to love Queen of Cups. That doesn't mean you have to go back to somebody sick. It means that you have the power to reinvent yourself from the inside out and attract new energy to yourself that's going to help heal you. And you need to trust that process. It's like a divine ordination. I'm going off into my thing and I'm going to get vi I'm going to get productive here. One more please and have this light attitude now. You have to uh, have a light attitude so that flirt and flirting is um it will also give you self-esteem boost if you've been through some shit cuz you obviously have in order to be this advanced in a situation you're like at the end stages of ending something with someone that was crazy. That's what I see. So let's see what's going on here. You're being really awesome, though. I love it. I love my cancers. Oh, babies. Okay, you guys. Let's see. Moonology is about your moods. Let's see what their, mo their mood message is for you guys. 
If you like these cards, I've got one of these decks for sale, and it comes with a free reading. But it's not a free reading. I mean, you're paying for the reading and getting the deck, really. But it's only twenty, uh, thirty dollars, and you get a really nice reading. So, if you want one, just email me for it. The Moonology deck or the Romance Angel deck. They're smaller. Here we go. Message for Cancer. Prosperity lies ahead. Yes, I knew it did. I knew it did. That's a great message. Don't let your past hold you back. A better message. Thank you, God. Messages are good. Nothing will come of your situation with this bad person if you don't let it. And this is a time for healing, my darlings. One more. Communication is the key. Speak your truth in love. That's what they're saying. Cancer, let's take a look at your ancestral and spirit guide messages for you. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus of the house. Spirit, thank you. You know what to tell them. I'm just the messenger. You guys, you know, I love you. I thank you so much for those of you who've asked me to do readings for you. It's an honor, okay? It's just an honor. And I tell it like it is. Sometimes I swear, sometimes I don't. I'm just one of those functioning magicians. Here we go. Wow. That's your message. Here we go, loves. The great star nation. Yes. Now, there's something you're going through right now. That place where you're, you're at the end of something is shifting for yourself now. Uh, because prosperity is there. But in the meantime, it's this weird place of being on hold. But you have good fortune. Okay? You have good fortune. Mystery, void, good fortune, and grace. So you're being guided and protected by the divine as well through this shift. Because your commitment is strong, it's time for you to heal. Okay? All right. So the message for you, my beautiful cancers, is enter the unknown, the mystery void. This place of nothing holds all that is and all that ever will be. What a humbling experience it is to feel the glory of a higher power. To become for a moment like the swan floating motionless up the waters of time. The great star nation card represents this state of grace. You have, oh shit, if she's not grace, I've never seen it. Look at her. Gracious, ooh, I gotta show you while I'm reading this because this is you. This is what they're seeing. This is what spirit's seeing, okay? I, I didn't make it up. I'm just reading it as I go, okay? We've looked beyond you. You have looked beyond yourself to greater service, and now the Star Nation rewards you. Experience the timelessness of the universe. Good fortune is cast within the stars for you. A wish you have long been hoping for will soon become reality, and accept this gift with open arms, for you have worked hard for it. You have much to look forward to, so enjoy this quiet time to ponder the mysteries of the universe. Stargaze and heal your spirit through the recognition that we are all one in the eyes of the great creator. That's your message, beautifuls. I look forward to your feedback. All right. And I am doing readings, so please, if you'd like one, just check out my website or email me. You're the best. I love you. Blessings and namaste, cancer.